Well, we'll start with the news. Uh, the Defense Department announced recently that uh, there was a very serious digital attack, it said, in March. Uh, a foreign intelligence service hacked into the computer system of a corporate contractor and obtained 24,000 Pentagon files during a single intrusion, uh, senior officials said. How can attacks like that be defended against? You know, my, my own background is Navy. Okay, so I think of a warship. You don't expect that no water is going to get inside the hull. So you put in watertight compartments, you put in pumps, you put in fire mains, but most importantly, you train and you train and you train and you train on the ship as an integrated system. So I think the, uh, one of the points that the senior DOD leadership made recently is we have to learn how to operate in compromised environments. Uh, the goal is not information assurance, it's mission assurance. You have to be able to accomplish the mission irrespective of the level of attack, threat, whatever it is you're under. So in, the, in this case, you're not going to go from 100% to zero forever. It's going to be some kind of degradation, and then it's going to come back. And so the goal is how do you make this bathtub as narrow and as shallow as possible. So the you know, the heart of the Defense Department strategy and realizing this is just defense uh, and this is really a public-private, whole-of-government, transnational problem um, is to first of all recognize that cyberspace is a new domain. It is an area in which we have to think about operating the same way we think about airspace land. Uh, we need to move beyond just the Defense Department to build partnerships, the private sector and partnerships. And one of the very interesting discussions we can come back to later is we talk about public-private partnerships. Somebody says, why isn't it private-public? Because the majority of the infrastructure, the majority of you know, a lot of things are out there in the private sector rather than... Well, that makes a great point because, I mean, in this example I mentioned, and it's only one example of many, uh, it seemed to be uh, an attack by... Uh, it says a foreign intelligence service, so a state, into a corporate contractor. In other words, it was a government uh, attacking a private firm here, and we've seen the reverse also in some cases of private parties someplace attacking government uh, infotech sure. here or elsewhere. Mm -hmm. It is a new kind of... Uh, problem here that demands coordination on a scale that I don't think we've required before. Is that fair? I think that's right. Um, just for example, consider, consider if we're going to deploy forces. So as you deploy that, you have a classified component that has to do with the command and control uh, within .mil. You've got an unclassified component within .mil as you file requisitions and get things back. You've got a .gov component because the State Department has to negotiate country clearances and the FAA has to do air traffic control. You've got a commercial component with FedEx because uh, things get shipped. You've got an international commercial component in you know, like Maersk Lines where it ships on that. And in some cases we work with the Volga to Napper, uh, you know, Russian airline or air company for large aircraft. So if you think about who has control over that space, Nobody has control over that space. And so it's this whole issue that we see in so many of the situations today. You have to achieve unity of action when there's no unity of control. The military loves unity of command. Great. Love it. If you had it, it works, but you're never going to get it in this sense. So how do you harness all the players? <laughs> and that's, that, that's the big issue that we are only beginning to deal with, right? So we are. Uh, I mean, I think the administration, uh, you know, beginning actually with the Comprehensive National Cybersecurity Initiative in 2008-ish, I think it was, continuing this administration, has actually uh, made a great deal of progress. Um, that said, it's a tough problem. 